Hey guys, it's me. We are at bat Battery uh, Croquette. And these are called uh, disappearing guns. When they, fi when they fire, they would go up. And when they're going to reload, they would uh, go down back into the base. That's why uh, they're called disappearing guns. And there was one where it literally disappear almost, uh, disappeared. And one of the motor, because one of the motors fell. Uh, was I'll blown play. away all the way I'll take a picture. to you know I'll take a picture. oh just wait uh, to add uh, add to the golf course I haven't seen it personally but I think it's still there the tour guide said yeah so this the disappearing gun it no longer works obviously cause because we want to, uh, to prevent terrorists from taking it. One end of the arm is where the gun is mounted. So this one. And then it extends to another. The other end is connected to a, it's a sliding block. You can feel it go up and down. So if you take a look at the stick I'm holding, so if this is the gun on this, oh, let's put it over here. If you have this gun on this end over here. So if you want to raise the gun, you pull, push this down. So this goes down, the gun goes over the wall. So when you fire it, recoil pushes back down again. So you fire it, it recoils, this end goes up again. So to start with, they have to pull this down. You have to overcome your weight on the other end. So this really attached to giant steel plates. Uh, if you see those in the, you know, in the mall have a, you know, a set of weights that, pulls, that goes down, people go up. So just the same with this one. If you like to see how big the weights are, you count your weight. You've seen those in the gym. And they cut it off. You see there are four connecting rods. They cut it off from the sliding block. Yeah, very big. Careful, Ah, huh, it's really deep. Looks like about uh, 15 meters deep. I can see the field of fire. This curve is upper wall. That's only 170. As it goes something like my finger this way. It goes this way only. That's why they usually came in pairs. A pair would cover about 220 degrees. So cover the wider area. Now since it cannot turn 360, uh, this couldn't fire into the opposite side towards Bataan. They only fired Cavite and West Philippine Sea. But there are three pairs of these ones. And they, they had 10 inch disappearing which was facing the Bataan Peninsula also. And they, now I'm taking the brand of this one. This one, you find the imprint. It's this. Oh, wait. Bethlehem. You know that? Bethlehem, Israel. <laughs> That's Bethlehem, US. It's Pennsylvania. Bethlehem Steel, yes. Bethlehem Steel. So made by Bethlehem Steel. Allentown, Bethlehem. Oh, watch out. So when you get up the rooftop, the view is Cavite. You see Cavite on this side. So we can go over the roof. All right, guys, I'm going to take a quick selfie. So, this is the end of this part. Shoot. Shoot. Must have been hell. <laughs> this must have been a beaut. It's a lot of shot. Soldiers must be terrified. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not that old. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, this is the end of this vlog. I'm going to take a quick selfie. Come, come, let me. Huh? Oh, yeah.